Hi guys, today I'm going to take you around some of the amazing things you can do in CM Reap. Many people come to CM Reap just to see the Angkor Wat. And whilst the Angkor Wat temple complex is absolutely incredible and a must see for anyone coming to Cambodia, I believe you should definitely allocate at least a few days in CM Reap itself to do some of the amazing fun things that this town has to offer. And today I'll bring you along on this journey. I've made some research and these are some of the very cool things that I believe you can do in CM Reap. But first, we're going to go for breakfast and a coffee. I'm dying to have breakfast. I found this really cute place online. It might take you on a little city tour. There are no pavements from what I had. Most of Cambodia is like this. There are no pavements, which does mean that you have to be extra careful, especially when it comes to the scooters, the tuk-tuks. So yeah, as you can see, well, actually you might not be able to see that, but we just need to cross here. Yeah. Right, and we are here. Just got here, I think. That's the menu. Um, hmm. That sounds really, really nice. Can I get the dragon fruit smoothie bowl? Maybe could I get an extra shot of coffee? As you can see, like a lot of people here are just working. I'm guessing the internet here must be quite good. Current speed of Wi Fi here. Oh my god, you guys, look how incredible this looks. We've got the smoothie bowl, chia seeds, coconut seeds, pineapple. Mm. Now I'm just walking to the Angkor National Museum. The Angkor National Museum is based in Siem Reap and it's very often overlooked. Yesterday I went to a couch surfing meeting, which by the way, if you're a solo traveler who just wants to connect with more people, both tourists and locals, then couch surfing is actually a perfect app. And a local Cambodian guy told me that I cannot go to the Angkor Wat complex without going to the Angkor Museum first. 20 minute walk. I don't mind walking, I love walking, although a lot of people have been complaining that it's a bit too hot to walk. If you would rather not walk and get somewhere faster, then you can certainly get a tuk-tuk from anywhere. Here in Siem Reap, I've asked a few different locals, they all said that it's very safe to pick up transport from the streets. I hope you can see the river, I know it's a bit dry. Okay. On my way, I'm just seeing the Royal Independence Gardens and this beautiful square right here. Here are the first traffic lights that I'm seeing in Cambodia. Don't know if you guys can see. Oh yeah, green now. Okay, across. I just listened to them and I nearly got run over twice. Don't listen to the traffic lights in Cambodia, you guys. Right guys, so I just got here at the Angkor National Museum. After sweaty walk, we got here, but it's very close to town. It's just, you have to bear in mind, very hot. Yeah, right, we don't have much time, so let's go in. Let's see. Right there, the Anka National Museum. Take it inside, yeah? There you go. Hello. Hi. Uh, yeah, just one person. $12. So that's my ticket for $12. And yeah, we're going up this ramp. So that's the Khmer architecture that you can see. Okay, turns out it's $5 extra for the headset. And I didn't know, so I'm going to go back to the ticket office and ask for it now.
Hinduism was the main religion, with multiple gods revered. All natural phenomena were ascribed to the power of the gods. Right guys, so I just finished visiting the Anka Museum. Turns out you absolutely must do it. If you want to learn more about Angkor Wat, history of Buddhism, Hinduism, but you must do it before you go and visit Angkor Wat. Not after, as this place gives you a great introduction and kind of builds up the excitement and the knowledge before going to Angkor Wat. This audio guide was so detailed, it stopped you at different points throughout the museum. So we are going to try to go to the Royal Independence Gardens. I don't know if it's open, we'll see, we'll verify, we'll verify. It says it's a six minute walk on Google Maps and then we should be at the Royal Gardens. Right, so I just got here. This looks like this, it could be one of the entrances, but it looks shut. Yet there are people inside, which leads me to believe it's got to be open. This gate is absolutely stunning. No wonder they would want people to use it just to preserve it. There is a lo local market right there along the street next to the gardens. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I found the entrance. Yes, yes, yes. We're in, we're in, we're in. Oh. <laughs> it's like, if you ever come to the Royal Gardens and there's no one here, don't be fooled because now it's late in the afternoon so people actually come out. But in the sun, it's, the likelihood of nobody being here is very high. However, that doesn't mean the place is shut. Yes, all the fancy, beautiful gates are going to be shut. But you just have to go all the way around to the tiniest gate, right at the, literally at the very end. So you have to go all the way around the gardens from the main street. And yeah, it will be right at the end. And it's not even the main gate, just a tiny entrance. But hey, we are here. So let's explore. This place looks very well maintained clean and green and people are selling some kinds of birds by the look of it. Is that chickens? No, can't be. Hello. So people here are selling uh, turtles and birds, like colorful birds. And I just really hope that selling them as pets as opposed to food. Maybe somebody can clarify in the comments. So this is a temple complex. You can see a temple here. I love temples. However, those local temples, I sometimes feel too awkward to go inside them if I can't see any foreigners, just because I don't fully know about you know the, the rituals the prayers so i don't want to do something either inappropriate or just like not know what to do that makes sense so we might not go inside this temple but i'll show you it from the outside You don't pay to enter the Royal Gardens. It's a no-brainer that you should come here. Have a look how stunning.
think there's a photo shoot happening here with the traditional Cambodian clothes. I never know if you can actually see much. Okay, I'll try to zoom in. Since we have limited time, let's go and check out another place. But I'll explain to you more about the next place when we get there. I'm just literally at this point following my map and seeing whichever place on my list is the closest. Eight minute walk and then we'll go to our next destination. As you can see the sun is setting. Let's go to our next on the mast. Right guys, so here it is. We just got to our next destination, which is Made in Cambodia Market. So here, it's a, this is a handicraft market, the local Cambodian market for all kinds of miscellaneous things. I think we could find anything and everything in here, but it is known for very traditional things from Cambodia. So if you are looking for something for your house, as a present to someone else, for your friends, family to bring from Cambodia, As you can see, we have all kinds of beautiful clothes. Oh, look at those crop tops there. Gorgeous. And like traditional tops also. If you are not traveling for many months at a time like I am, then you probably can, well, you probably can pack a lot more things. Definitely my style of the one with a little, I'm not sure if it's a teddy or... <laughs> Sorry, my fingers are a bit too So yeah, it's a lovely, lovely place and you can hang out here and the locals are super friendly and it's not busy. Like, as you can see, there are a few people walking out and about, mostly foreigners. I think for sure this is the place that the foreigners would shop at, not so much the locals. But for me, because I have no capacity in my case currently, I'm not going to get anything. I just wanted to show you this place. You know how I said I was doing a couch surfing meeting? I actually went to this restaurant called Khmer Taste Restaurant. It's a 14 minute walk. Here I just had the most delicious local food yesterday. It was so good. So maybe if you are in Siem Reap, you can enjoy it also. So let's. Mm -hmm. Let's go and find the food. Of course, I don't remember my way around and have to use maps. This 
I maybe just go through it? Yeah, let's go through it. Why not? Look at all the colors, you guys. I was not planning to go for this street, but seeing as it's on the way, might as well give you a little glimpse. We might come back here at night. Oh, look, one dollar t-shirt. Two dollar Cambodia. Yeah, definitely we'll look into it later. But I've got to admit, this place is very beautiful and seems to be very affordable. So yeah, we'll come back to the street a little later after we eat. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, it's Pub Street here. Yeah. Pub yeah. Street. Yeah, we are very close now, I think. This pub street, by the way, is the place you absolutely must visit in Siem Reap also. It's incredible. You need to come here during the day and at night. My plan was to come here at night so I can show you the pub street and like, you know, when it's busy and lively. I ended up here during the day and it's just as impressive and just as cool to come here during the day so i recommend both it's like a square i believe you can see right there so if we have energy well if i have energy i'll go come back there this street is quite busy and giving me anxiety to cross it i don't like crossing the busy asian roads it's never been something that i know how to do well yeah, you always constantly being offered tuk-tuks, which is understandable. These people want to do their business, you know, they want to make some money. So, hi! Uh, just one, yeah. There, if that's okay. Um. One of my friends recommended to me yeah, last time was this. It's the uh, Cambodian amok with fish. So supposedly this Khmer Taste restaurant is really well known for good fish and the fish was incredible. So yeah, he recommended this Cambodian amok and it was absolutely delicious. Great value for money actually, $2.50 is cheap for Cambodian food, especially in Siem Reap. Siem Reap is more expensive. Anyway, I'm going to order and then check back in with you when my food arrives. Also, by the way, this place is not only very affordable, but you also get free water. I had to pay one dollar, exactly one dollar, in the museum for the same exact bottle of water. And you get a free snack, free peanuts. I had them yesterday, absolutely delicious. Even if Cambodia is more expensive for food than some other Southeast Asian countries, you can definitely find some cheaper alternatives if you look around. Right, so the food has arrived. You get complimentary rice in the shape of a heart fish omelet. It's kind of like green curry, but not spicy whatsoever. And just tastes beautiful. So, cheers guys. And I will check back in with you after I finish. Otherwise, I will turn this video into a mukbang instead. Thank you. Thanks. Pub Street at night is just a vibe. Whether you come here just to experience it for a few minutes and then just go back to your hotel, it doesn't matter. Like you have to come to the Pub Street. <laughs> the Filipino singer. Ah, oh, live music. Wow. I'm not a drinker anymore, you guys, like I really hardly ever drink. So I had this mojito and now everything just looks even more colorful. So it's like a, like a whole square, like a whole area of just pubs, bars, clubs, entertainment. Like you can still definitely come here during the day and then you want to experience all these crowds. But still, to anyone who likes to party, this place is your heaven. It's like Patong in Phuket, pound steroids. 
Like seriously, it's bigger, it's more colorful than Patong, and it's just like impossible not to <laughs> love this place. Even when, e even if you're like me and you don't really party, you still will want to party if you come here. One dollar for passion fruit mojito that was actually quite strong and really tasty and had fresh fruit. It's just a complete steal. I initially, when I came to Cambodia, I found it quite expensive. Like I was a bit like, oh my goodness, this, these prices are like more than double of Thailand, of Malaysia. Transport is expensive and food also, but then you can find cheaper options. Hello. Hi. No, thank you. Uh, yeah. I want to try this. This is, looks like a great pampering session. <laughs> right now I buy panda buy things here like you can buy jewelry not just food you can uh, like I said you can definitely pamper have a nice part session massage I might do that tomorrow I'll do some pampering for sure because CM Reap is the most perfect place for it and affordable for pampering so yeah highly recommend you to come here and just enjoy 